What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. And uh, I'm here in my bathroom because it's better lighting. Um, <clears throat> I just got some things that I want to share with y'all. First of all, um, I'd just like to say thank you for uh, all your support that I always get um, constantly from y'all. Um, I wanted to talk about the uh, Miss Eloise, uh, some ideals for that channel. I hope y'all enjoying her, by the way. Uh, my character, my character been out for years, y'all. I had this character since I was a teenager. I um, decided to bring her out because, you know, my ex-husband encouraged me to, you know, you know, reboot, you know, do some other stuff. Show your character, show you, you know, because a lot of times I was, like I said, I was felt like I couldn't, you know, grow on my channel or I wasn't able to be the real me or be who I wanted to be because it was always, you know, every time I felt like, okay, well, drama clearing up, I'm gonna I'm come out then, or I'm, you know, when this stop, or I'm gonna come out then, or whatever. But, you know, hopefully the video I had made, you know, when I was speaking my truths about me, um, like I said, um, I hope that it was uh, acceptable because that's just the God given truth. Um, but anyway, my character, he inspired me to come out with her. I was so nervous, y'all, because I'm like, I don't, I mean, I don't want to do that. You know, I want my channel to be, you know, an inspirational channel, or some cooking channels. He was like, you could do a lot of different things on your channel. So, um, a lot of people was asking me to make a separate channel, um, make uh, a channel for Miss Eloise, but I'm like, I ain't even got this off the ground yet. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to maybe do a a nightly episode i can do an episode you know maybe every night or maybe at like 4 30 send a, a episode out of miss eloise and so that was my plan like not to always just be miss eloise and, and you know and some other videos but regardless of what videos goes out miss eloise will be able to go out every day at 4 30 p.m there's episodes of her okay and so like i say if i did a cooking video that day or whatever miss eloise is still gonna be out so i'm gonna make it an episode because i got so many yeah i got so many ideals and stuff and my ex-husband um he gives me a lot of ideals and stuff as well um he's a good story writer he should have wrote a book um and uh and so that's what i had planned on doing you know that type of stuff for my channel i know i also had the cooking channel in mind and everything like that but i'm i'm trying to find what uh sparks y'all so in the comments below i need for you all to let me know what do y'all think about the episodes of miss eloise coming out um every day at 4 30 and also how y'all feeling about um you know any other uh because a lot of people need inspiration too y'all i'm not gonna I, I got to you know i'm gonna throw some inspiration inside there you know it's gonna be a message inside of each uh, episode, you know, I don't know why I'm pointing over there to the closet because that was the last video I made with her in the closet. <laughs> anyway, y'all, these this, this characters like when I go to speak, it's like I don't know, it's just off the top of my head the things that I be saying, y'all, and, and it's like it's not rehearsed or anything. It's just it's like off the top of my head she comes out, you know, and um, it's it's just always been like that natural. Um, but for my inspiration, you know, I have to. Um, like I said, you know, I love to hear from God when it comes to stuff like that. Like something he put on my heart today that I want to share with you all uh, before I, you know, get into more further more into the video. But, um, yeah, so also with my, um, my, my aprons, they are coming along now. This time they're waiting on me. They're waiting on me now because uh, my sister Kenya is texting me saying, okay, sis, did you take the picture yet? I got to go take a picture of me uh, uh, holding a, a skillet or something like that. However I do it, you know, it's gonna be like a, made into like a silhouette. So they're waiting on me for them aprons, y'all. It's gonna be, but one thing about it is, I bet you it won't take two weeks. Once we get started, I, I bet you it won't take that long. You know what I'm saying? I bet you it won't take, I'm saying a month and two, because like I said, I was in uh, Ypsilanti, Michigan um, in April, and um, I was talking about them aprons and stuff like that. And I was talking about the giveaways that I was going to do, y'all. I ain't forgot five giveaways. Uh, the names that I remember at the top of my head, you know, that I ain't even looking at my page right now. But the comments, I got the names that's at the top of my head about the aprons or whatever. And um, so 
I mean, I don't, I don't already have them picked, but I'm saying, names stay in my head, y'all. Believe it or not, good or bad comments, they stay in my, but however, the bad comments, no, you're not getting the apron because you're not a supporter of me. Uh, I think you just come to troll me and bully me. So no, there's no aprons coming from you. I don't really think you even care, but maybe you do though, because you're always on my channel anyway, even though you don't like me. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, so I wanted to be doing like many different ideals. I got another cooking recipe for y'all to start off off the top of my head. Um, I want to do that for you. Um, that will be coming out um, later on. Probably won't be posted to tomorrow. But um, it's a breakfast idea. A breakfast menu. I mean a breakfast recipe. So I want to do that. But um, I just wanted to know in the comments so far how y'all been enjoying Mrs. Eloise. I'm going to knock it in her head because when I'm they be doing videos, you see me walking past. If you're going to walk past my love bugs and love muffins, at least speak. Hi, love bugs and love muffins. All right. Um, I want y'all to comment down below, though, uh, different episodes that y'all want me to do. Like, one is in my head when it was saying, do one with Miss Eloise acting up at lunchtime. Let me see if I got your name, baby. I want to call your name out. Oh, here she go. The next video should be Miss Eloise acts up at lunchtime. Bray Bray. Thank you for the ideal, Bray Bray. And I'm going to use your ideals for the episode. So let me know in the comments below, whatever. What y'all thinking, what y'all, you know, what y'all want me to, um, you know. I'm not going to do nothing crazy, y'all. And I'm not going to do nothing, uh, you know, that's like X-rated. Because we do have kids that's on this channel as well. Um, I was looking at my, the, uh, mostly of my um, watchers. I was looking on to what age my watchers was. Because I wanted to see what's going on with my channel. Um, and most of them uh, are females. I think it was only like... 19% male, 7% or 19%, I can't I can't remember. One of those two num numbers were uh, males and the rest are females. Um, the ages that mostly watch my channel are from the ages of 18 to 24. Um, there's a, a small percentage of my age that watches and I think that was, I wanna say, 40% something like that I don't know but um I didn't you know past past my age because I'm 49 past my age 65 it's like a maybe like a 3% a, a or something I saw whatever but most of the ages that watch my channel oh and in a, in a younger crowd like from 5 to 12 the numbers wasn't that large I almost want to say thank God because some of the stuff man I appreciate y'all um, comments by the way I appreciate most of your comments because y'all show love y'all show love and it's like i don't know i just feel like your supporters represent who you are and i was thinking about that the other day now this is something i want to share with y'all because i did want to tell y'all this your supporters represent who you are and why i'm saying this is because whatever most of content that you put out there and you give your uh audience um, your supporters are in the comments, and um, they reflect off of you. They reflect of who you are. The reason why, I'm going to give you an example. Most of um, my supporters, matter of fact, it was not all of them. Most of my supporters that be in my comments, not only do they give encouraging words uh, back to me, um, but when trolls come onto my page, you don't find most of my supporters cussing them out. You know, you got a few that will get buck wild with you, okay? Because everybody ain't a ride yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting the ones down. You know, everybody ain't a ride. Everybody ain't there. But most of them, you'll see them rebuking them. <laughs> get off this page in the name of Jesus. Go on. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. We don't need this foolishness. Get on off here. That's like whatever, you know, kind of, and I just, I just, I don't know. It just tickles me in the inside to see that because it's like, wow. It's like whatever you put out on your your, your content or whatever, it's, it means it's a form of respect there. And I appreciate you for that. I just wanted to tell you that because, you know, other supporters, y'all pay attention, y'all other YouTubers, when y'all looking at y'all, uh, 
your content, when y'all looking at your content, but when you're looking at your comments, you know, most of your supporters going to uh, say what you say or they're going to talk how you talk or whatever, whatever type of lifestyle, whatever they see you living or what type of personality you have, they're going to form to that. It seems like that's what happens, you know, on my page, you know, because like I said, I get a lot of, uh, y'all be rebuking folks left and right. Y'all in Jesus name, get up off this page, ain't nothing but the devil. The devil is a lie. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it because like I said, when I when I first got my page, I said that I was going to ignore the uh, hate that was all about love on this channel, and um, that we wasn't going to address that. We was going to leave that alone, and we was going to pray for those people, you know. But somehow along the line, down um, over the year, I had found myself um, responding, you know, to foolishness and things like that um, because, you know, you can only, sometimes you gotta get that stuff out, y'all. Sometimes whatever is down on the inside of you, it's, it's got to come out. And sometimes things, they irk you because they're not true, you know? And I'm so tired of the comment while I'm on the subject. I'm gonna get off the subject, but while, while I'm on the subject, I'm so tired of the statement, uh, hit dog or holler. No, that's, yeah, hit dog or holler, but regardless of how, any anything that's hit gonna holler. Okay, whether it's a, a, a negative or whether it's positive. You hit me uh, 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 and I holler, that don't mean you spoke truth. If you hit me and I holler, it means you aggravated me with a lie. You know what I'm saying? So, don't mean a hit dog, don't holler, uh, a, big, a fat pig, a squeal, you know, things like that. You know, like I said, when you lie on somebody, that affects them. You know what I'm saying? Truth don't hurt me. I, I, I need the truth. I know the word of God. If, if the truth will make you free, the truth will set you free. So I ain't, I ain't afraid of the truth because I live the truth. You know, if I'm wrong, I'll go back and apologize to a person, y'all. If, if I ever wronged a person, I'm gonna let y'all know something. If I ever wronged a person, I have went back and apologized, okay? I have apologized, all right? Just know that. All right, now it's up to that person whether they accept your apology. I just want y'all to know that. If y'all ever apologized to somebody and they did not accept your uh, apology, that is no longer on you. That you have cleared that up with them and you have cleared that up with God first. They are holding that grudge now. That is no longer on you. So just know that anybody that I have wronged, I have apologized to. So therefore it's not on me. So I, 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 I'm free, I'm free. Okay, so anything after that is just hate. You know what I'm saying? It's just hate. So I just want to address that as well. But I do have a lot of ideals for um, this channel, um, more entertainment. Because some of y'all be like, okay, this is boring or whatever. And I, and I, you know, show your other side or, you know, show yourself. There's a lot of people in the comments where me and Queen had did a prank uh, call together, the prank call together. And uh, I, I saw comments in the, you know, on my page, page that was saying, I didn't know that uh, she was funny like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all right to show your goofy side, whatever. I'm just goofy and silly all day if people let me be. You know what I'm saying? I like to be a free person. I like to be transparent. I don't like, I'm the type of person, I don't like to hold stuff back. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to speak on something that's just going to make things, you know, worse than people twist things up anyway, regardless of what you say, you know. They can see proof right there in front of them, but uh, it don't matter at that point because if they don't like you, if a person don't like you, they're just going to adhere to the negative about, they don't, they don't care, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if they just got, you know, the hatred towards you. So what you got to do is, pick up and move on. A lot of my um, hate has made me strong. I used to be a weak person in that area because I would uh, shut it down and run. Or I just can't do this, forget it. But I have so many times I have been encouraged not to give up. And I just thank God for you all. I thank God for messages even through God when he sends a, 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 a certain person or a group of people or um, he may send a word. You know, I could be wanting to give up and I, I can stroll through something uh, on the timeline it says don't give up God don't want you to give up fight the strongest battle belongs to the strongest soldier you know what I'm saying be strong you're not weak you know and don't give up you know but he always encourages me and I thank the Lord for God I thank God for God y'all and I just want to tell y'all that I don't want to uphold y'all another thing I will be doing a I am moving video 
Um, I'm not gonna let y'all know what city I am in, in Michigan. Um, I'm gonna keep that to myself because um, some things deserve privacy. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of hate. One time um, I had went to um, Michigan and I came back home here to Georgia and it was um, the, the pumpkins that I had left, they were broken up all out in my yard. Then no dog do that, y'all. But you never know. You know what I'm saying? You never know. And it could have been kids in the neighborhood, but I don't. This is not that type of neighborhood, so I, I I don't know. But nevertheless, I just thank and praise God that He covered our home while we were gone. Um, you just don't know who coming at you. You know what I'm saying? It could be a, a little kid, or it could be a hater. And so I like to keep some things, a lot of things, private, especially to what you know, city I'm in. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with y'all on upcoming. Please let me know in the comments though about the episodes about Miss Eloise and how you liking her so far. And, um, like I said, the aprons is coming. I touched bases on that. Um, and I got another recipe coming out for y'all. Uh, breakfast recipe. Um, I just want to let y'all know though, I thank y'all for everything that, like I said, your support and everything. And um, be blessed. Peace out in Jesus' name.